Hello everyone, welcome back to Fanblade. Um, today I am tuning my piano. This is just a really short video just to show you sort of more or less how it's done uh, and talk about a couple of the tools you'll need. Um, uh, first of all, you'll notice the tuning pegs on a piano are square. You'll be tempted to use your drum tuning key. They don't work. You can't get enough leverage on them and they're just not quite the right size and you'll actually do more damage and you'll hurt your hand because it's just impossible. You need an actual tuning hammer. Uh, I have two of them here. This one is a rather nice one, uh, made in fact by a company called Grover. You may have heard of them. Uh, but the, uh, the head on it is a perfect square. Whereas this uh, cheap, no-name Chinese one is a star. Now, the advantage of having the star is that... Uh, when you've got the square one, you can only ever put the thing on in, in fact, in fact you've really only really got two useful positions there. But with the star one, of course, that splits that, and you've, you've got all these different positions that you can fit the thing on, so that you've got a, a comfortable way, because you need to put quite a lot of leverage on these things. Piano tuning lugs are tight. Um, the pins are, you know, they go, you know, a good few inches into this block. It's a solid thing. They build pianos solidly. That's why you never ever take a piano off someone in order to recycle it to get wood to build guitars from. They're impossible to take apart. They weigh a ton and the the, the return, the amount of wood, the amount of usable wood you get out of a recycled piano is just not worth the effort. So uh, yes, trust me, I've been there. Um, so you'll need a tuning hammer. I'm going to use this one. Um, you also need some mutes of some sort. Now, I have a spring clip. I forget the actual name of it. Basically, it's a gigantic clothes peg. Um, this is so that you can stick it in between two springs, strings, sorry, and mute them. Uh, this is so that you can only... It's because you only want to be listening to one string at a time while you're tuning. And, of course, I have my smartphone with the chromatic tuner on there. Oh, that's gone. Rotate, there we go. Uh, so I've already done the bass section. That's a perfectly in tune C sharp. This is a D. It's a quarter tone flat. Basically the whole piano was a quarter tone flat and it was getting weird. It's been shifted a few times and not maintained very well over the last couple of years. But it's in its permanent home now, so I'm going to get it as close as I can. I'll give it a really, really good... Tune. I'll get it up to pitch, and then uh, uh, once the lockdown's over, I'll actually get a man in who knows how to do this properly. Uh, I consider myself a, a rank amateur enthusiast on tuning pianos. I can play them, but uh, uh, this is very much not my specialty. However, I've got not a lot else going on at the moment, so let's do this. First of all, you want to mute one of the strings here. So I'm just playing one string. It's a quarter tone flat. So we'll tune it up. It's a D. Now, you simply take the, uh, you know, you, what I'm doing there, I'm muting one of the strings. I'm, I'm letting, uh, letting one ring out. Now, when, and I've tuned the one that I let ring. Now, I'm going to let them both ring. Sounds really not that great, hey? But, all we've got to do now is bring the second string up to match. And you'll hear it when it happens. In fact, I'll turn this mic around so you can really get the full effect of what you're listening for when you're doing this. I may have gone a little bit too far.
C-sharp. So there you go, that's how you tune a piano, more or less. Um, I do recommend if you know someone who has an old piano that they want tuned, make sure it's not an expensive one, and just do some practice on an old junker. Uh, figure out how to do it. It's a difficult skill to learn, it's a very, very difficult skill to refine, uh, but the more you do it, the better you get at it. And, you know, best of luck to you all. Uh, thanks for watching, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.